whenever beginning any reloading operation, it's a good idea to start out with safety glasses. Even when cleaning a new set of dies, we will be working with aerosols that can get into your eye. So please take your safety very seriously. The first thing is the cartridge catch tray. We've got a small parts kit that contains the retainer spring and some parts for the automatic priming system. And this package contains five lock and load bushings as well as the bracket that holds the cartridge catch bin. From there, we've got this box. And in this box, you can see we've got a number of items. The first one is the case activated powder measure. The case activated powder measure die body. The press handle. And the automatic priming system. Finally, we've got the lock and load AP, the spent primer tube, and the instruction manual. Now, the first thing to do is locate the mounting holes, which we've already pre-drilled on this bench for the convenience of the video, approximately two and a quarter inches back from the edge, the front edge of the bench. Next step is to go ahead and mount the press. We're going to do that by using two 5 16 inch bolts. We're going to start with the right hole first. The first bolt that goes in is the right bolt. And you'll see why here in just a second. So that bolts in on the bottom, we'll use a flat washer and a lock washer. On the top, I like to use two flat washers. One will suffice. The next thing to do is get the cartridge catch bracket. Install that. You can see that it tips slightly, so we're going to use a washer underneath and a washer above. Set the washer down, we'll bracket on. We've got a flat, a lock, and a nut for the bottom. And I'll mention one other thing before we get too far. When you get your press mounted, go ahead and screw the handle in. It doesn't need to be far, part way. And make sure that the linkage has got plenty of room to operate on the bottom of the bench. Make sure that it's not bumping into anything, uh, a leg on the bench, boxes that might be under the bench, uh, drawers, etc make sure that it's got plenty of room to operate freely. We're in good shape here, so we'll go ahead and finish tightening down our mounting bolts. All right, got the press mounted nice and snug. We'll go ahead and continue mounting the press handle. We're gonna screw that in until it comes through at least flush. You can take it a little further than flush with the bottom of the linkage down here. Spin the lock nut down and use your 15 16 wrench on the nut and then just tighten the jam nut against the bottom of the linkage so that the handle's nice and snug. 